Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Imani Jelena and I own a hair extension company by the name of Lore 96, where I sell a variety of Brazilian hair textures and also have a drop shipping wholesale program. Aside from that, I'm also a mentor where I sell products and webinars and eBooks on ImaniJelena.co for those of you who are interested. So as you can see from the title, this video is all about how exactly I've made $150,000 selling my products and services. The information that I'm going to give you guys are things that I want you to take from this video and implement into your business. So hopefully you can have much success and greater sales when it does come to your business. I don't want you guys to look at this video and compare my business to yours because we've taken different steps and we've also went down different paths. And please be mindful that the tips and tricks that I'm going to give you throughout this video are the things that I've done to get to where I am today. I haven't always been in this position position that I am in today, but by implementing these tips and tricks is, is the reason why I can make this video to you guys. So the very first thing is going to be YouTube. YouTube has excelled my business from here to here. And not just YouTube social media as a whole, but narrowing down social media, it's been more so YouTube. YouTube is where I connect with a lot of my clients and my customers. It's where I'm able to put out informational videos and communicate with you guys. But overall, YouTube has been an amazing, amazing source. The next thing is gonna be ad and post promotion. And this is more so to Instagram. I do a lot of Instagram promoting with different pages on Instagram that has higher volume of followings and the same audience retention that I'm necessarily looking for and I promote with them and that is a way that my business has reached different people, reached different audiences just by me solely spending a few dollars to pay someone to post something on their page. The next thing is going to be my Facebook group. For those of you who do not know, I do have a Facebook group by the name The Bag. And it's basically a group where many business owners from across the world or potential business owners connect with each other to get to ask questions and to receive answers. So that is another way that I have accumulated this money because I do promote myself on my own platform, of, of course. And since the viewers and the audience on The Bag are the same people that view me on my YouTube videos, it all works out. Now, the next thing that I've done is going to be Instagram DMing. I don't want you guys to look down on this. I want you guys to do whatever it takes to get your business to the next level. And Instagram DMing has definitely gotten me to that point on my business Instagram page on Allure96. Shop Allure96 Instagram page. I would reach out to people who I felt was interested in the product that I was selling and I would just reach out to them and say like, hey, check out these exclusive deals, product services. Um, if you like them, go ahead and purchase them. Um, so that's something that I did that definitely did help. And I did see a spike in sales when I did do, the, do, did do this. I don't necessarily do this all the time, but if I did have a little extra time within my schedule, I would definitely make room to get it done. But it definitely does work. Some other things that have also gotten me to this point is consistency and by being unique. And when I say unique, the reason I say unique is because for one, like like you guys know from watching this video, I own a hair company. And within my hair company, I have a drop shipping program. So this is a shameless plug. If you guys are interested in a drop ship program, definitely check the description box. I'll have some information listed below for you guys. But there's not many drop shipping companies out there, especially like hair extension drop shipping services, especially credible ones. So when I launched my Allure 96 drop ship program, I was one of the very few individuals who had a dropship company. So that is another reason why my brand has reached different levels because there's not, not many dropshippers out there. Dro well, dropshipping companies that sell hair extensions out there that has a credi credible name behind them. The next thing is gonna be the uniqueness in my name. If you guys notice, my name is very unique and very savvy, just due to the fact that there's numbers tacked on the end of it. So there's no confusion when it comes to brands. Something that I got, I want you guys to take note of or make a timestamp is, I want you guys to get on a uploading schedule, whether you're doing YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, social media, Pinterest, Google+, whatever you're doing, I want you guys to make a schedule for it. I want you guys to schedule I want you guys to schedule your post for the week. So if you 
so every Sunday, something that I did every Sunday, I basically sat down and was like, hey, on Monday, I'm going to do this. On Wednesday, I'm going to do this. Tuesday, this is going to get done. Friday, this is going to get uploaded. I'm going to have a sale on Saturday. This is what I've done. So I want you guys to do the same thing, especially if you want to not necessarily follow my footsteps, but you guys want to see different spikes and see different raises in different areas of your business. This is an amazing idea, an amazing tactic that can, for one, get you on a schedule for your business, and then for two, create additional income come for your business and it all just has to do with sitting down on a Sunday or a Saturday and scheduling what you're going to do for the rest of the week. Granted, some weeks I didn't 100% stick to that schedule, but it definitely did help me figure out what I needed to get done for the week, especially due to the fact that my hair company and Amani Jelena is what I solely do and this is my legit career. So I definitely want to make sure that, you know, I'm on a schedule this similar to a schedule I would be if I was working a uh, nine to five elsewhere. So that's something that worked for me and you should go ahead and try it out to see if that's something that'll hope, hopefully, <laughs> that would hopefully work for you as well. Now, the next thing that I'm about to mention is something that I started to do at the end of last year and I've definitely seen a lot of growth from it. It's gonna be greeting cards. Whenever someone would place an order with me, I would send them out a little greeting card. I got the greeting cards from, I believe Hobby Lobby and it was basically just a thank you card and I would then go ahead and write a personalized message within that card. That's something that I definitely, definitely know helped my business, especially getting customers to come back and shop with me. It works, you should try it out. It's very easy, all you do is go pick up some greeting cards, write down your customer's name on the greeting card and just send a nice friendly message. It's definitely personal and it allows your company, your it allows your customer to kind of get a little feel for you. A lot of people tend to sleep on the next thing that I'm about to say and the next thing that I'm about to say definitely helped my business. All of this information helped my business but it's gonna be email marketing. In the beginning of opening up a hair company or you know, opening up a hair company, I didn't necessarily know how to properly run a business for one, but I didn't necessarily know how to send out emails. So something that I had to learn, I had to master, I had to do a lot of research on with email marketing and how to get a prospect to result in ordering from you. It's not a hard task to do, but it does cause, you do need to retain a lot of information to know the key points to say in certain emails to get people on board to then purchasing from you but email marketing has definitely helped me i've made thousands of dollars by sending out just an email and by sending out these emails you're basically giving your audience the opportunity to purchase from you. You're giving the ones who may have forgotten about your business the opportunity to go visit your website or follow you. The last few things that helped my business is gonna be by being never out of stock. I made it a mission for one, owning a dropship company, I can't really be out of stock, but I work very closely with my manufacturer and we, ha we have a very tight relationship, so he he knows the things that I expect out of him. So if for some reason I don't have something, I know the factory has it and can get it shipped to me immediately. The next thing is gonna be professionalism. I'm very particular when it comes to my business, so everything that I do is going to be professional. There's a lot of things that I will not get on the internet and do just because it will look bad representing my, my brand. And as a business owner, that's something that you need to take an accountability for everything that you do represents your business something else is going to be i always respond i don't have a team of people behind me everything that i do responding to emails communicating answering the phone things like that that is me so since this is my business i have a this crazy respect for my business and i want things to go a certain way so I don't put that responsibility in someone else's hands. So whenever I'm dealing with a customer, I'm dealing with the customer so that by the end of our conversation, they're satisfied no matter what. So for instance, if you have someone answering emails, answering phones, you need to make sure that you let them know your expectations for them and how to greet greet a customer over the phone things to say things not to say because if you are rude to a customer or if customers feel like you're rude they are 100 percent not going to spend money with your business and can potentially bash your business online so definitely take note of that because it's very important that you do leave a customer satisfied at all times photo shoots are a big deal 
having beautiful images, high resolution, high quality images on your website is going to definitely help your brand. Something that I do all the time, and I have this, and I have this big book. This is my planner, and in this planner, I have so much information. Every single month, I go over different holidays if I'm going to have sales for certain holidays, and I go over information to see what exactly I'm going to put out there for the upcoming month. So with me, something that I notice, I'm always on top of things. So if I'm going to have a, a holiday that just passed was Memorial Day, if I was going to have a Memorial Day sale, I would have known this a month prior to having it. So it's all about planning and being ahead of the game. Now, something very simple is gonna be just quality in my product. I sell a very awesome quality product from my straight hair to my curly hair to my body wave hair to my wigs. All of my hair quality is amazing. And that is why I have a lot of customers that come back to me just because the quality that I offer is good. So of course that goes hand in hand into how I've made such and such amount of money just due to the fact that for one, I have a quality product and it all starts from there. And with me, I'm not the type of person that's gonna sit here and try to get over on a customer. I don't need to scam anyone. I'm very straightforward with my customers. I'm straightforward with the descriptions of my product so you know exactly what you're gonna get. You know exactly what time frame you're gonna get your products in. Very straightforward with them so there's no reason for me to ever try to get over on my clients and i see a lot of business owners especially biz people who just pop up with businesses they try to get over some people just enter a business or start a company just to make a few bucks me this is my lifeline my business and my services that i provide are my lifeline this is how i feed myself this is how i feed my son this is how i support my family uh this year i was at i was able able to purchase make one of the largest purchases of my entire life and I purchased a Mercedes-Benz car I really wanted it I was able to get it I was I of course can afford it so I was just like why not and my business is the reason that I can make these purchases these purchases which is like a clap on my back because I've worked so hard to get to where I am and things will not happen overnight so I hope you guys definitely wrote some notes down. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me through Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram up here. You can reach out to me on Instagram and my email list. Any, like you can, if you really want to get, <laughs> connect with me and reach out to me more on a personal level, you can definitely do so. I'll leave my social media accounts like Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, my Facebook group, all that stuff will be below. For the people who do want to interact with me or want to, you know, ask me a few additional questions that I didn't get to touch on in this video. But like I said, I hope this video was beneficial to you guys. If you did like this video, go ahead and thumbs it, thumbs it up. Don't forget to subscribe below. And yeah, I love you guys. And if you subscribed, welcome to the business family. And I'll talk to you later.